In this video, we're going to introduce the Hessian matrix to test second order conditions for a local maximum or minimum. A Hessian matrix contains second order partial derivatives. And if the second order partial derivatives are not constants, they must be evaluated at the critical values in the Hessian matrix. Okay, we got z as a function of variable x and y. And this is what the Hessian matrix is. Again, just a uh, series of partial derivatives. And the second principal minor of the Hessian matrix is just a usual way of calculating a determinant from a 2 by 2 matrix. It's a series of cross multiplications here. And the first principal minor is just going to be the partial derivative of the function with respect to x twice. And now the second order conditions for a local maximum, the following must be true. The second order conditions for a local minimum, we want to see these signs. And for a saddle point where we have neither a local maximum nor a local minimum, the second principal minor is going to be negative. So here's our function. Let's first get the first order partial derivatives to find the critical values. Set each one of these e equations equal to zero. And we got two equations and two unknowns. So take equation A, solving it for Y, and then plugging that into equation B. And just simplifying. So X equals one and plugging this one back into this y function over here, y equals 2. We got our critical values. Let's see if we're at a local maximum or local minimum. So we're going to calculate now our second order partial derivatives and cross partial derivatives. So this first function up here, taking the partial derivative of that function with respect to x gives us 6. This function right here, taking the partial derivative of that function with respect to y, we get back 4. In terms of cross partial derivatives, this first function here, we take the partial derivative of it with respect to y, we get back minus 1. And because of Young's theorem, this cross partial derivative should also equal minus 1. So we can verify that, taking the partial derivative of this function down here with respect to x, we get back minus 1. Plugging everything into the Hessian matrix and calculating the determinant, it's positive. So we're going to be at a local minimum. We satisfy the conditions for a local minimum. Okay, one more example. All right, the first order partial derivatives get our critical values. So 2.5 and 1. And now our second order partial derivatives and cross partial derivatives. Plugging those values into our Hessian matrix. Calculating the determinant. Our second principal minor here is positive. And we're going to be at a local maximum given the following conditions. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.